Members of the Senate Banking Committee met to discuss possible additions to the administration's proposed $700 billion bailout plan. When we do have a plan that comes forward, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll cover various other concerns that, that uh, should be included. One provision reportedly would let judges rewrite mortgages to allow homeowners facing bankruptcy to keep their homes. There's also a desire to limit the pay for Wall Street executives. We're not going to want to vote for something like this and then see golden parachutes. We're not going to want to vote for something like this and see exorbitant pay for a CEO who's having to turn to the federal government uh, to, to hold them harmless. President Bush is urging quick action, saying the world is watching. But some lawmakers are warning against being steamrolled. We shouldn't be rushed into this. If it takes a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, the world will wait. But there is also concern that lawmakers have to get it right the first time. If we do not deal with this issue appropriately, very quickly, Main Street is going to be greatly engulfed in this. Wall Street is nervous. The Dow Industrials lost 372 points. That's more than 3%. And oil posted its largest one-day jump, more than $25. It closed up $16 at almost $121 a barrel. Congress is scheduled to adjourn at the end of the week. And with elections just a month and a half away, lawmakers are chomping at the bit to get on the campaign trail. But congressional leaders have made clear that given the importance of the bailout bill, it will be approved no matter how long lawmakers have to stay here. Jerry Bodlander, The Associated Press, Capitol Hill.